hello good day viewers still on coordinate geometry here's our problem for today the cycle x minus 4 whole squared plus y plus 7 whole squared equal to 50 meets the line x minus y minus 5 equal to 0 at points a and b first question here we are asked to find the coordinates of the points a and b the B part, we are asked to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. C. We are asked to show that the perpendicular bisector of AB, which is this equation which we are going to form, passes through the center of the cycle. And the last question, we are asked to find the area of the triangle OAB. Alright, let's get started. First of all, I would like to make a sketch of this. Suppose we have a cycle like this. And we have a line segment like this. Let's call this A. Let's call this B. So we are looking for the coordinates of this A and B. And how can we do that? We have the first question here. Now to find the coordinates of these two points A and B, all we have to do is to substitute the equation of the line into the equation of the cycle. All right, the equation of a cycle is x minus 4 whole squared plus y plus 7 whole squared equal to 50. So let me write it here. x minus 4 whole squared plus y plus 7 whole squared equal to 50. This is equation number 1. Then equation number 2, which is the line we have x minus y minus 5 equal to 0. Let me confirm. Yes, exactly. Let us make y the subject here. If you take negative y to the other side, it becomes positive. So y is equal to x minus 5. This is another important equation. So all we have to do is to plug this equation into this one. So wherever we have y here, we are going to substitute it with x minus 5. So this becomes x minus 4 all squared plus y which is x minus 5 then we have plus 7 all squared and this is equal to 50. this is x minus 4 all squared plus negative 5 plus 7 is positive 2 so we have x plus 2 all squared and we can take 50 inside it becomes negative 50 and the whole of this equal to 0. now let us expand we have first term squared here, which is x squared. Then minus, because of that minus sign, we have 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 4. That is going to give us 8x. Then negative 4 squared is positive 16. Then moving to the other bracket, we have x squared, right? Then plus, because of that plus sign, 2 times x times 2 is 4x. Then plus 2 squared is 4. Then we have minus 50, the whole of this equal to 0. Now we have x here, we have x here making 2x squared. Then we have negative 8x plus 4x, that is going to give us negative 4x, right? Then we have 16 plus 4, that is 20. And 20 minus 50 is negative 30. So we have negative 30 here and this is equal to 0. Now let us divide every single term by 2. Divide this by 2. We have just x squared here. Minus divide this by 2. We have 2x. Then minus 15. The whole of this equal to 0. Now let us think of two numbers we can multiply together to get negative 15. And when we add them together we get negative 2. The numbers are positive 3 and negative 5. So this can be factorized as x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 5. The whole of this equal to 0, right? We are going to set each factor to be equal to 0, which implies that x could either be equal to negative 3 or x equal to 5. And how can we obtain the corresponding values of y? We have y equal to x minus 5 y equal to x minus 5 when x is equal to negative 3 we have y equal to negative 3 negative 5 
which is negative 8, y is equal to negative 8. Then the other one, when x equal to 5, we have y equal to 5 minus 5, which is equal to 0, right? So we have two coordinates. Here we have when x is negative 3, y is negative 8. And the other coordinate is when x equal to 5 and y equal to 0. So we can see that this is B and this is A. And hence, this is the answer to the first one. Now moving on to the second question. The second question reads, we should find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. All right. This is our diagram. Remember, we have obtained this to be negative 3, negative 8. And the other point is 5 comma 0. Now we want to find another line which is perpendicular by sector of this line. Meaning it is going to divide it into two equal parts. So let us assume this is a perpendicular by sector of this line. How can we obtain the equation of this line? First of all, we need to find the midpoint here. What will be the coordinate here? If you want to find this coordinate, you take x, which is negative 3, you add it to 5 here. That will give us 2. You divide it by 2, you have positive 1. So x is 1 at the middle. Then you take this, you add it to this, you have negative 8. Divided by 2 is negative 4. y is negative 4 at that point. This is the first thing we need to find here. And secondly, we need to find the slope of this line segment AB. So let me call this line L. So slope of AB, remember it is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And you can start from other points. So let me start from A to B. So y here is equal to negative 8. The other side we have 0. Divide by x here is negative 3 then minus 5 to the other direction. This is equal to negative 8 divided by negative 8, which is equal to positive 1. Remember, if two lines are perpendicular, their respective slopes are said to be the negative reciprocal of each other. Therefore, the slope of this line will be what? Negative reciprocal of the slope of line AB. And line AB has the slope 1. Therefore, slope of line L will be equal to negative reciprocal of 1, which is just negative 1. So how can you form that equation? It is going to be y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. Already the slope is negative 1. All we have to do is to find a point that passes through L. And the only point that passes through L is the midpoint of AB, which is 1 comma negative 4. So at 1 comma negative 4, 1 for x, negative 4 for y. All we have to do is to substitute them. We have y minus minus 4 equal to m, which is negative 1, x minus 1. Simplify and obtain our equation. This is y plus 4 equal to negative x plus 1. If we like, we can take this one to the other side. It will become negative. We have y equal to negative x plus 1 minus 4, which is minus 3. And hence, this is the equation of the line, which is perpendicular by sector of the line segment AB. And we are done with this question. Now let us move to the next one, which is C. We asked to show that the line, which is the perpendicular by sector of the line AB, passes through the center of the cycle. All right. All right. The C part, we want to show that this line passes through the center. So where is the center? This is the center, right? All we need to find is the coordinate of the center. Already the equation of the cycle is given to us as what? X minus 4 whole squared plus Y plus 7 all squared equal to 50. This is the equation of the cycle, right? I remember that the center will have the coordinate 4, negative 7. 
to find x coordinate all you have to do is to set this to be equal to 0 solve for x x will be what 4 set this to be equal to 0 to find y coordinate y will be negative 7 therefore at this point x is 4 y is negative 7 and we ask to show that this line really passes through the center if it really passes through the center remember its equation is what y equal to negative x minus 3 y equal to negative x minus 3 if we substitute the center into this equation definitely the left and the right hand side will be the same because it is an equation right so at 4 comma negative 7 which is the center y is negative 7 and uh, x is equal to 4 so we have negative 7 equal to negative x which is negative 4 then minus 3 will the left hand side be equal to the right hand side negative 7 equal to negative 4 negative 3 is negative 7 as well which is true and hence we conclude that this equation really passes through the center and we have just answered this question now let us move to the last question which is d part the d part we are asked to find the area of the triangle o a b o here stands for the center so now let us find it so the d part remember that this is o so we want to find the area of this triangle let me just sketch it so how can we find the area to find the area we need to find the base and the height this is the height and the base is what the distance between a to b and the height is the distance between this midpoint to the center all right now remember our distance formula ad the distance here will be what the square root of x2 minus x1 whole squared plus y2 minus y1 whole squared so now let us substitute uh, we can start from other points let me start from here we have this to be from x we have negative 3 then minus 5 whole squared then plus y which is negative 8 minus 0 whole squared negative 3 negative 5 is negative 8 and negative 8 squared is 64 negative 8 negative 0 we have negative 8 all squared we have another 64 under square root this is equal to the square root of 2 of this 64 right because 64 plus 64 is the same thing as 2 times 64 and square root of 64 is 8 so we have 8 root 2 this is the distance uh, between a to d or a to b sorry this is a to b a to b is the base so we can call this one the base this is our base then what about the height to find the height we're going to use the center and this midpoint to find the distance apart therefore h will be equal to the square root of let me start from the center we have 4 minus 1 squared 4 minus 1 squared plus negative 7 minus minus 4 that is negative 7 plus 4 negative 7 plus 4 all squared 4 minus 1 is 3 3 squared is 9 plus negative 4 plus 4 is negative 3 and negative 3 squared is 9 we have this and this is equal to what 2 times 9 and square root of 9 is 3 so this is equal to 3 root 2 therefore the height is what 3 root 2 and hence we are going to apply the formula area of area of triangle o a b is equal to half the base times the height 
so this is equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by the base the base is 8 root 2 8 root 2 multiplied by the height and the height is what 3 root 2 from here 2 can go into 2 one time and it can go into 8 4 times so we have 4 times 3 which is 12 is equal to 12 R root 2 times root 2 is root 2 squared root 2 squared is 2 and 2 times 12 is 24 so this is equal to 24 units squared and hence the area of the triangle OAB is equal to 24 units squared and this is all I have for you today thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye